What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about how classes in the Elder Scrolls Online do not feel as unique as they could. There's a lot of people in the community that feel like a lot of the uniqueness with each class has kind of gone away over the years. I kind of understand what they mean in some aspects, depending on how you build your class. Sometimes everything feels kind of the same, depending on, you know, like I said, what class you're using. If you're using what most people would call meta bills, that kind of thing. Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky, the website along with a discount code you can use at checkout is linked in the description as well. Now, when it comes to classes in the Elder Scrolls Online, if you're a, a, a magic sort, let's say, for example, or a magic DK, or, you know, a magic necromancer, or you can even go with a Stam Nightblade, a Stam Necromancer, or a Stam Warden, a lot of people feel that some of these classes are just too similar now, mainly because you're using a lot of the same similar abilities. A lot of times you're not using a lot of your class abilities. You may be using an ability from uh, on, a, on a mage class, for example, maybe from your destruction staff or some of the things from the mages guild. Or if you're on a stamina character, you might be using a couple things from the uh, fighters guild or something from, you know, your two hand or your dual wield. A lot of people feel like these classes just are not unique enough because they're not using more of the class skills besides just a handful, maybe on one bar or the other. Now, like I said, it's going to depend on how you build your class. If you're going for more of that, and I want to use quotes, meta build, you know, because everyone thinks that some of the meta builds are, are meta builds in game are the best. Sometimes you can get away with building it completely different and still doing just as much damage. But I do understand why people use these builds. So they're out on YouTube, they're on Twitch, they're on Twitter, they're everywhere you look, people are kind of posting their builds and they work very well. Uh, some players can use them to their max potential, some cannot, so they try different builds and things. But overall, in my opinion, a lot of people use the same stuff. So it kind of makes it feel like the classes just are all one thing, if that makes sense. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of uniqueness to them. Uh, I take orbs, for example, even though orbs are getting nerfed in Blackwood, a lot of people I've, I've been hearing about on PC that are playing still say that orbs are, are good enough to run. There's no need not to run them. And of course, every magic class you have right now, even on mine, you know, if I want to try to do the most damage I can, Orbs is really good um, here on console. I know it's good on PC. So before the Blackwood update, majority of people are using Orbs. So that's going to take one spot within, you know, your every magic class that you have. It's going to be running that same ability. And that's kind of one thing that I, I think a lot of people notice when they're building classes is, or they're looking at people's class setups is everything's really the same. You only have one or two abilities, maybe in some instance, that really don't that really makes it different from any other class. I do wish there was a way that this could be balanced out more. Uh, so you use more of what is kind of available to that class. I don't really, sh really know how they could do that because that means you would have to take away, uh, you know, a lot of different things in game or change things up because for example, every magic class is going to use mages guild abilities. Every magic class is going to use destruction staff abilities. It's the same as every stamina class would use two hand or dual wield abilities or fighters guild abilities. I mean, even you get to the point of, I really don't use channeled acceleration as much anymore because I don't like the cast time. So I use, you know, barb trap. Uh, so I'm even using some of those uh, fighters guild abilities on my magic characters, uh, you know, not just my stamina characters. So I get why people don't like or don't like the feel of, of the game at times because they don't feel like it's as unique per class, per character that you make. That you feel like a lot of your classes and characters, yes, they might be different in, you know, race or different in what class they are, but they feel a lot, a lot of the ways they feel the same just because of the abilities that you're using uh, in game. Like I said, I'm not quite sure how they could change this. It would take a big overhaul in my opinion because you'd have to change so many different things if you're going to make everything just kind of stick to their specific class abilities and not use anything else. I don't know if that would really work, but I'm kind of curious. Do you guys feel like sometimes the classes are not as unique as they could be? Do you feel like it's fine like it is? And if you do feel like it's fine or, you know, it needs to change, leave me a comment and let me know why you feel one way or another. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.